In today's video, I'm going to be giving you an introduction into fasting, some of the various types of fasting, discuss scientifically what goes on inside your body when you are fasting, and let you know about some of the most common health benefits fasting can provide. Hi and welcome, my name is Dr. Lindsay Marie. I'm a board certified family medicine physician and on this channel I like to discuss some of the most common health topics with a focus on wellness and nutrition. Fasting. Now, depending on how you look at it, this could be a topic of controversy, but in more recent years it has gained popularity, showing that it can provide some major health benefits. So first of all, what is fasting? Well, fasting basically means to abstain from. And this can be anything really, including hobbies or food, but in today's video we are going to be focusing more on fasting from food. And fasting is not necessarily a new topic or just a new emerging health trend. It has actually been going on for many years, whether that be due to food scarcity in the past or also in different cultures and religious practices. So what are the different types of fasting? And I'm just going to go over a few of those now. And the first one is something known as intermittent fasting. This type of fasting involves cycling between periods of eating and periods of fasting. And one of the more popular methods of intermittent fasting and also probably more achievable is the 16-8 method. With this method, you will actually be fasting for 16 hours while the remaining eight hours of your day is a time period where you can eat. Some people also practice something known as the 5-2 diet, which is where you are eating normally for five days and then on two remaining non-consecutive days, you dramatically reduce your calorie intake. So as the term says, intermittent fasting is something that is done intermittently. It is not typically done on multiple days in a row, although some people do do that. Some people are able to complete a full 24 hour fast away from food once a week or maybe once or twice a month and then resume normal eating on the in-between times. I could go into a lot more detail about intermittent fasting and provide more of the specifics of this type of eating plan. However, this video is just meant to be an introduction for beginners and to discuss some of the topics of fasting and what it can do. So the next type of fasting is water fasting and this typically occurs over a more extended period of time, usually 48 to 72 hours. And during this time you would refrain from eating food at all and only consume water. And this type of fasting is what really allows your body to tap into stored energy reserves and provide some more of those health benefits which we will discuss later. There is also alternate day fasting, and this can be similar to intermittent fasting depending on how you do it, but it's basically where you alternate between days of normal eating and days of fasting or restricted calories. And finally, there is also something known as extended fasting. This I would not recommend unless under medical supervision. This is a more extreme type of fasting where you are fasting or restricting food typically beyond the 72 hour mark. And although this type of extended fasting can provide another variety of health benefits, it can also be very risky and is not for everyone. If you are a beginner, this is something that you would want to ease into at first and of course discuss with your doctor prior to starting any major diet changes. It may not be recommended for certain people groups to engage in more extreme fasting and those groups include if you are pregnant, breastfeeding, or have other conditions such as diabetes or hypoglycemia. Also, for some people who suffer from migraines, fasting for an extended period of time may not be for you because sometimes not eating enough throughout the day can trigger your migraines. I know that's the case for me, so some tips that can help if you are a beginner in fasting would be these and they include one, starting slowly. If you are new to fasting, you wanna begin with shorter, less restrictive forms of fasting, including intermittent fasting. Two, making sure you are staying well hydrated. Because your body is not eating, you definitely wanna make sure you are at least drinking fluids and water. This is a very vital component within fasting so that you can avoid harmful effects. And number three, make sure to always listen to your body. If you are experiencing any discomfort or known side effects, then you would wanna ease off or stop fasting altogether and consult your doctor. If you are finding this video interesting so far, make sure to hit the like button so that more viewers can find out about fasting and the benefits of fasting. So now I just wanted to go into the science behind fasting and what goes on at a physiological level in your body when you begin fasting. And there are a couple of scientific terms that we will be discussing. And so the first one is known as ketosis. And you may have heard of this before, but ketosis can occur with different diet changes. One of those changes can include the keto diet, which is a diet that mostly restricts carbohydrates and promotes eating more fats and proteins. 
When your body enters into ketosis, it starts to burn stored fats for energy instead of glucose. And this is one of the many reasons why it can lead to weight loss. The next scientific term is something known as autophagy. We now know that certain periods of extended fasting, usually after 17 to 24 hours, can lead to something known as autophagy. And the process of autophagy is just short of a miracle with inside your cells. You can basically think of it as a cleanup process where all of your cells within your body begin to rejuvenate and regenerate and renew themselves. By increasing cell renewal, this process also removes any damaged parts of your cells, and this can include things like early stages of cancer or DNA damage, which as you can see, would be very beneficial to our body's overall health, especially at the cellular level. Scientifically, fasting has also been shown to improve insulin sensitivity. Over an extended period of time of eating increased calories and more sugar within your diet, your body can develop something known as insulin resistance. And insulin resistance is the leading cause of prediabetes and eventually type 2 diabetes. But with fasting, your body has a chance to go without carbohydrates and without sugars. So when it comes to metabolizing nutrients for energy with less sugar or carbohydrates, via diet changes or fasting, your body can then become more sensitive to insulin and less insulin resistant. So now we're just gonna go into some of the health benefits that fasting can lead to. And this part of the video is going to be also a basic introduction, but stay tuned for next week's video where I go into quite a bit more detail on 10 different health benefits of fasting. So the first major health benefit of fasting, which can be somewhat intuitive, is that it can help with weight loss and fasting helps promote weight loss in a couple of different ways. One is that when you are fasting, you are obviously in a calorie deficit, and we know that weight loss occurs when you are able to burn more calories than take in calories. And so number two, fasting allows your body to burn more of your fat stores instead of using glucose as your primary source of energy. Another health benefit includes improved metabolic health, and this can help reduce your risk for many of the major diseases, including diabetes or heart disease. As we talked about before, fasting helps to lower insulin levels and reduce insulin resistance. It also helps to reduce inflammation within the body and lowers your risk for other metabolic syndromes. The third health benefit can include cellular regeneration. Again, this has to do with the process of autophagy that we mentioned before. Over time, the components inside your cells can become messy or get cluttered. So just like you would clean up your home or your room once a week or once a month, it is also beneficial to clean up your cells once a week or once a month, or at least on a regular periodic basis so that your cells do not become overwhelmed and become dysfunctioning. So autophagy is just that process of cleaning up the insides of your cells so that they can work better and more efficiently. And this can only typically be done on a more regular basis with fasting, but it can also sometimes occur with regular and consistent exercise. Another health benefit includes enhanced brain function. Fasting has been shown to increase BDNF, which stands for brain-derived neurotropic factor. And this is something that is very important and plays a role in brain function, mood, and our cognitive performance. So in this way, fasting can help support brain health and prevent against other neurodegenerative diseases. Overall, there can be multiple benefits that occur with inside our body as a result of fasting. These are backed by scientifically proven physiological changes at the cellular level. Fasting can definitely help you lose weight, it might be a new method you try if all other attempts to lose weight have failed. Not only can it help you lose weight, but it can also improve the health of your body at the cellular level, regenerating your cells, protecting against certain cancers, heart disease, and diabetes. And by reducing your risk for all of these conditions, you can live a longer and healthier life. I have actually started to incorporate some periods of intermittent fasting into my own lifestyle. And during those times, I will say I have noticed more energy, less brain fog, less bloating, and overall just feeling better. Again, this video is just meant to be a quick introduction into fasting and some of the many health benefits it can provide. It is meant for educational purposes only, but if fasting is something you are interested, I would encourage you to speak with your doctor before starting any fasting regimen. If you haven't already, be sure to like and share this video with anyone who may be interested. If you have more questions, leave them in the comment section below. I would be happy to answer those for you. Subscribe for more videos like these and stay tuned for next week's video where I'm going to be going into more detail on 10 different health benefits of fasting. And until next time, bye.